Welcome to Bible Answers. Here is a question that someone sent. What is the proper posture of prayer in the church? There has been great controversy in the church on this subject. So what is the proper posture of prayer? I believe that different circumstances require different attitudes. When we are going to church, into a formal church service, then we are showing reverence to God. And Moses, for example, when he came into the presence of God, was standing on holy ground. That means he had to show reverence to God. So when we pray in a formal setting, in a formal prayer, then the best posture would be to kneel because that is what the prophets did, that is what we read, what Daniel did, and that would be the correct posture. Is it necessary to kneel at every prayer? Or can we stand at certain occasions? I believe one can, personally. I believe the formal prayer, we should kneel, and the other prayers, depending on what they are, we should stand. We must make a distinction also between public prayer and private prayer. Private prayer is where you pour out your heart to God and you tell him what is troubling you, what your wishes are, what your joys are, what your fears are. It's a conversation with God. Private prayer is talking to God as with a friend. Now, when it comes to public prayer, that's a totally different issue again. Public prayer is incorporating everyone. So that is not the time and the place to pour out everything that is on your mind regarding personal issues. So public prayers should be short so that the attention span of the people will not be taxed. And they should be to the point regarding the issue. Often people make long, tedious prayers and God is not honored by them. If these types of prayers, when you're pouring yourself out to God, is something you do at home. There might be occasions when you come together about a particular issue that is bothering the corporate church in a prayer meeting. And that is an occasion where people pour out their hearts regarding the issue. On those occasions, individual prayers will obviously be longer, but they do not have to go into all the issues that do not concern the case. That is still an issue for private prayer. What does it mean when the Bible speaks about praying without ceasing? Does it mean that we are on our knees from morning till night? Will we get anything done? Will we be able to do our normal day-to-day -day things if we have that attitude? What does it mean to pray without ceasing? To pray without ceasing means to be attuned to God. In other words, when you get up in the morning, you say your prayer to God in the posture that is appropriate. And in the day, as you do your regular things and your chores and whatever you do in the day, you are in constant communication, asking God, speaking to him, singing. Singing is prayer. Being joyful in him, that is prayer. Enjoying what he has provided in nature and in food, that is prayer. That is praying without ceasing. But it doesn't mean praying in a formal capacity without ceasing.